Hey guys, welcome back to What Was Mommy Thinking, or welcome if you are new here. We have had a few new friends join us over the last week or so. My name is Crystal. I'm a full-time working mom. I live in Texas with my husband and three amazing kiddos. And on this channel, we just talk about life, guys. I mean, the stuff that all of us moms deal with, budgeting, finances, grocery shopping, meal prep, cleaning, cooking, and doing all the mom things while trying to manage everything all at the same time. This video is all about setting up for June paycheck number two in my Big Happy Planner budget planner. If you're interested in seeing that, stick around and let's get to it. Nothing's gonna save us from our doubts. Nothing's gonna make us spell it out. I don't wanna be the one to say to I told you so. So this is going to kind of be a, not a kind of a short video, what I think will be a short video. Um, I finished off the candle that I had here, you guys, so I have started this new one. This has been in a cabinet upstairs that I was decluttering, and I've had this candle for probably seven years. And it's one of those woodwick ones that sounds kind of, it's supposed to sound like a fireplace or whatever. So if you hear it, that's what it is. It's not static. It's not something on your, uh, on your and it's on mine. Okay, so what I thought we would do is next Friday is paycheck number two for my family. So I thought what we would do is set up paycheck number two in my big happy planner. So you see I've got a couple of tabs here. I'm going to go ahead and grab my stickers. Um, and this is just my hodgepodge of stickers for the big planner. Let's see if I can zoom you all in just a bit. Um, and in it... I have a little sheet that gives me my um, subtotals. So I'm going to grab that right here. And I just made these so that because I really like the simplicity of the Heidi Nash debt free charts. I love the simplicity of it. I love that it's all kind of linear instead of hopping from one side of the page to the other. So what I didn't like about it was that there was no way to do like your subtotals and how much was remaining. So I just made stickers for that. So on my husband's paychecks, we stuff sinking funds. On my paycheck, we stuff cash envelopes. So for this week, we're gonna go ahead and do um, sinking funds because this will be for his payday. Let me grab a pen. My black one's been running out of ink, but we're going to give it a try anyway. So, he gets paid on June the 25th. And this has to go for us through July the... <laughs> there I go, not knowing what my dates are. July the 8th. Gee, many Christmas. Okay, so, and it is still 2021. All right, so the bills that we're going to have to pay out of this paycheck are what we're going to list first, and I'm just gonna put bills here, and on this we're gonna do our cell phones. We don't have um, landline phones, so we just have our cells, and on our cell phone plan we cover seven phones. Then we have Netflix. Then we have my student loan. Then we have YouTube TV and that is what we use instead of cable. Use that in Netflix. And then we have my car payment. <clears throat> So not a whole lot of bills coming out on this next payday. Um, and they're, they're kind of on the smaller side of things. So what I wanna do is after I get all of these added up, I always leave one blank space in case I forget something. And I'm gonna put this little sticker that says total and then this little sticker under it that says remaining. So just like um, we all have learned to do with the budget mom method. I'll go through, put my budgeted amount, what the total and how much was remaining. I'll do the same with the actual and the same with the difference. 
Then, right under this, I have these longer stickers because this is kind of what I consider a header. Not kind of, I consider this a header. And that will go there, and then I'm going to list out the seeking funds that we're going to pay out of this. So, these will be the envelopes that we will stuff next Friday. So our car lease payoff, because we are currently saving each month so that when the lease is up on our vehicles, we will have the money in cash to pay out the balance of the lease and own the vehicles outright without financing the balance or turning them in and getting another vehicle. We would like to not have a car payment for a while. We're also going to stuff our Thanksgiving and we're going to stuff our medical envelope. So for the car lease payoff, I should have put the amounts in, I'm sorry about that y'all. It's gonna be $865. For Thanksgiving, we're going to be putting in $15. For medical, we're going to put in $65. For our homeowner's insurance, there goes my pen. We're going to be putting in $26 for our pest control. We just got a new pest control company, so I'm very, very hopeful. The bugs in Texas are no joke. For pest control, we're going to put $36. For our pets, we're going to put in $150. And y'all, I'm... I hate to say it, but this is going to be one of those sinking funds I'm actually going to have to increase again. We went from $125 to $150 a month, and I'm going to have to increase it yet again. And I'm not real happy about that, but I mean, what are you going to do? So birthdays. We have three birthdays in this family in August. And birthdays are going to get $200. Then for clothing... We're going to do 50. Then for back to school, we're going to do 50. And for vehicle tags, we're going to do 18. And for Amazon Prime, we're going to do 11. All right, so these are our goal amounts that we are hoping to do. And what I do is once I get to the bottom of this, I do the same thing. I take a total sticker and a remaining sticker and put those right there. And that is the extent of planning for my second paycheck in June. Now, what I will tell you guys, you'll see it in my um, weekly check-in that I post early next week or over the weekend. I'm not sure when I'll get the video up. I can't even film it until at least tomorrow um, or really, really late tonight. But a couple of these sinking funds were going to have larger amounts put into them and we had to reduce them down. Medical is one of them and clothing is another one of them and I will explain why when I do my weekly check-in video but some things happened this week that were um, unexpected and we had to make some adjustments into some sinking funds for next Friday and uh, and that's the way it is. That's life and that's how we roll. So. This is how I set up for my um, paychecks for each of them. This method has really, really been working well for me. The things that I love the most about it is that it's linear. It's all in one column. And um, 
there is the first paycheck of the month I usually have to kind of wipe this out and bring it down a little bit and I'm I'm okay with that for now um, I love the fact that I have a notes section so I can write out a little comments if I need to um, like for our cell phone payment I know that starting in August our payment is going to be lower because the last um, two devices are going to be completely paid off so our cell phone payment is going to go down by probably 70 or 80 bucks which is huge so I can make that little note here when I pay this for July the 1st and that's what this one's for. I can put next payment will be and, and write that here so that when I'm planning out the next one I can look back. But that is all I do. It's super simple. It takes hardly any time at all. And I'm, I'm just, I'm loving it. It's working out so beautifully for me. I wanted to mention really quick, if you have ordered from my Etsy shop recently um, first of all thank you thank you thank you so incredibly much I just y'all have no idea how much it means to me if you get one of these in your little package with your freebies that I put with the thank you card that I write um, these are to put your bill pay stickers on so when you go to the beginning of the month this is already punched for you to put in here if you're one of the people that color codes and uses like blue for grocery and yellow for this and green and blah 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 this is a key for you to put those stickers on so that you can remember what stickers you use for which category and I just decided to, to make some of these with some paper that I had left from envelopes and uh, to throw them in as a little thank you gift for people so there are all kinds of different patterns this one's my one that I'm going to use for July in my cl um, classic planner or maybe in here and well it'll be in here because I don't track bills in my classic but this is my one for July so if you get one of these, that's what it's for. Don't throw it out. Um, that's what it's for if you want to use it. So I just thought I would throw a little something in there as an extra thank you. That is it for today's video, you guys. All we were doing was setting up for that second paycheck. You can see here from my monthly spread that that paycheck really doesn't have a whole lot of bills included in it. So we will get paid on the 25th and it's my car payment um, our taxes and that's about it um, some some like AT&T Netflix student loan and YouTube TV so we go into the beginning of the month because our next payday will be on I believe the 9th of July so I have to cover everything between here and the 8th of the month but I already paid my electric and my taxes out of the paycheck from the 11th so we are good there and so I just have to pay my car payment and these few our mortgage payment always comes out of my once a month paycheck and I will be getting that on the 30th of June so that mortgage payment will come out of my June check along with all of our cash envelopes for the month and we're right on track eventually you guys it is a huge goal of mine to get a month ahead but that's not in my goals until next year so for right now I'm really happy with how it's going and we're just going to keep going. I hope you guys are having an amazing Thursday. I hope you all caught Cats live. She is such a, a breath of fresh air and just brightness in this world. Um, and I will see you guys very, very soon. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.